The federal government has warned that it will bring the subsidy regime on electricity to an end, calling on Nigerians to brace up as it would encourage investment and growth in the power sector. The Minister of Power made this known during a ministerial briefing in Abuja. He said the implementation of the new regime would be gradual, called on Nigerians to bear with the government and support all policies and programs of the Tinimbu administration. The recent increase in tariff for only Band A customer, which is just 15% of electricity consumers in Nigeria, as are the latest statistics, is a little above 12 million customers in the sector. And this will only affect one, about 1.5 million customers. The remaining 10.5 million customers will continue to enjoy government subsidy. This review, uh, tariff review is in conformity with our policy trust of maintaining a subsidized pricing regime in the short run or in the short time with a transition plan to achieving a full cost reflective tariff for the sector over, say, a period of three years. Government is so sensitive to the pains of the people, to the sufferings of the people, and we are not ready to aggravate these sufferings any longer, which is why we said it must be a journey rather than a destination. And the journey starts from now that we should do a gradual migration from the subsidy regime to a full cost reflective regime. And we must start with some customers. This is more like a pilot for us at the Ministry of Power and our agencies. It's like a proof of concept. It's a POC that those that we have the infrastructure sufficient enough, adequate enough, and qualitative enough to deliver stable power that will enjoy between 20 and 24 hours of light to be the ones that we should target. This sector has been deprived of the required liquidity to keep it running on a sustainable level, to keep it to continuously be in business because it is no longer attractive to investors. Even the operators don't have enough liquidity to invest in enhancement of their infrastructures. The generating companies could not pay the gas companies, which is the raw material, which is the feedstock that they use to generate power. The generating companies cannot service their equipment. It's getting to a level that they cannot even pay their salary, the salaries of their workers because of the accumulated debt in the sector due to lack of liquidity and commercial pricing. Trust in public communication must be upheld. So it is the desire of this administration it is the desire of this ministry to ensure, like has been directed by Mr. President, to always ensure that information flowing from government to Nigerians is always made available to them honestly, uh, freely, and without any form of embellishment. We are returning trust to public communication. And what does that mean? Whatever we say here are things that you can fact check, things that you can verify, so that at the end of the day, mutual trust that should exist between Nigerians and the leadership at all levels will be uh, maintained.